Hi, my name is Ronald Johnson. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. So today's topic in this live video, I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone. The first time I've ever done something like this was conscious dating for single men. Let's face it, man. We have great careers, we're happy, we're good looking, we're handsome, and uh, we're good in business, but what we lack is success in relationships. And why is that happening? Why do we lack success relationships? Are we, are we not finding the right person? Or are we not setting our intentions right? There's a lot of things that can happen. But in reality is, is that we do not set our intentions right. I'm going to tell you something that I read in a book, and this goes back maybe two or 3,000 years. Um, and let's face it, women have all the power, men. And the reason why women have all the power is that women have to carry children. Women have to, you know, if the men leave, they take care of the children. They have all this stuff to go through and also look for the best candidate. If we go back 3,000 years, if you're the best hunter, you're the best provider, you're the best person can build a hut or whatever it may be, you were chosen to find the best woman because that's how things were. Kings and queens, they want to find the best man for their woman to keep the legacy going. All this is still inherently with inside of us. To understand that women have the power is to understand that we have to be the best person ourselves to attract the best woman we want in our lives. Not just through cars, through money, through all these outside things that don't provide any benefit long term. Because if you aren't the, if you don't have the right set of integrity inside, obviously eventually someone's gonna find out who you really are, who you really are, and not really gravitate towards your intentions. I'm going to give you a quick example about me and what I used to do for years, right? So as I was going through young adulthood, um, I didn't obviously lose, lose my virginity until I was 18. But as I was going through my adulthood and trying to find uh, that white woman or trying to find the best mate, I remember when I first met my kid's mother, I thought to myself, God has given me this woman in front of me. And because I can't find the sexual connection from anybody else, this must be what God gave me. Right, not looking at the deeper features are do we connect? Do we do what's our values? What's our intention? Do we see each other long term together? I didn't ask myself those questions because I was like 20 years old. What do you expect to happen? So as time went along, what I started to realize is when I was dating somebody, I always put up this great facade. Uh, you know, I gotta be charming, I gotta have a lot of money, I gotta have a great car, all these figure, physical attributes to hopefully attract the best woman for myself. Which inherently, yes, I did attract a lot of women, and yes, they came in my life, but they never worked out. None of them ever worked out because I will attract women in my life. She was missing a future that I wanted, be it I wanted someone that had bigger breasts or someone that was taller or someone that was smarter. I inherently then say, okay, well, this person lacks these three or four features that I really want to go find somebody else. But in the beginning, I didn't set my intentions right. And this became a ripple effect. Every single relationship, or better yet, I go to the woman where I have all the great features, but she didn't select me. So I, I started doing more. I remember one time I sent this this girl 100 roses, expecting to get her, and I also bought her Christian Louboutin shoes, or they call red bottoms. And and I obviously tried to do all these things to to woo her, and realized she didn't want me. But I'm thinking that if I keep doing this, I'll finally get her. What came to realize that over the years, I myself just sucked at relationships. And I sucked at relationships because I myself didn't set my intentions. I myself thought that if I did the right things to impress this woman, which I thought were the right things, I would get her and keep her. What's inherently reality was is that I was finding women that lacked the features I wanted because I lacked self-esteem, I lacked confidence. I was seeking the one that was prettier. I was seeking the one that was more intelligent. I was seeking all these features to make myself better. And what was attracting my life is crappy women. Or better yet, I was a crappy person towards the right woman that gave me everything I wanted that was there for me and appreciated me. Because I was always looking for something better. I call it the natural high. You're always looking for something to fulfill you better or something that provides you better happiness. And it's all outside things, appearances, education, all outside things. Don't get me wrong, education is great because education will provide you maybe a person that's on the same, a person that's provides you on the same playing field. But came down to one thing after much awareness and, and attention is uh, much awareness and value is that what did I really, really want? Like what, what, what were the features I was seeking? 
I started really going out there and doing my internal work because I figured that if I'm going to find something better for me that fits me for long term, I have to thus become better. See, I can't expect something to happen because also I want it. No, I had to realize, okay, what was I holding on? And what was I holding on to is I was afraid of giving love. I was afraid if I give someone love, I would get hurt. So I didn't give me love at all. So guess what? If I don't give me love, how I expect someone to love me back? So man, what are you holding on to? What are you not giving up? What are you projecting to think that you can attract the right person in your life? Are you selling for something you shouldn't be doing? Are you always looking for the best of the best? Because if you're looking for these outside features, first, are you those features? Are you the best of the best? Maybe not. Are you the tallest? Maybe not. Are you the smartest? Maybe not. But more or less, man, we are afraid of allowing someone to get close to us. We're allowing people not to get into our deeper emotions. We're not able to express ourselves. So really, reality is if we don't express ourselves, how can we expect someone to be truthful to us if we're not willing to be truthful to them? At some point in our life, we have to put all our cards on the table. I don't care if it's something you went through. I care if you filed bankruptcy, if you had bad credit, or if you've been cheated on, or if you cheated on somebody, or been divorced, or you don't have the right education. It doesn't matter. Put the cards on the table because that will allow the person to see if they really want to play. Have you been to Vegas? Now, every single table at Vegas is, is busy, right? But some tables, maybe the better table, are attract the better people. But you always find that one table where it's only one person there because he's most comfortable being at that one table. So he's putting everything on the table because I've come to this table. We start realizing that in order to be better, we have to first figure out what our intentions are. What do we want to get in this relationship? Right? Stop, stop worrying about these dinners. Stop worrying about these cars. Stop worrying about education. Take a person and figure out what their um, comfort zone is and do opposite. Figure out what your comfort zone is and do opposite and see how you guys really connect on a different level. Because that's what it boils down to. It's how you connect. If you want to be with someone, you look for long-term relationships, you got to connect in all facets of life from sex, from love, from family members to, to um, being in uncomfortable situations, to expressing who you are. Because when you express who you are, that right person will come into your life. And that's when you have a conscious dating for single men. You're not dating consciously. You're just going with the flow. You're just going with the normal. You're just going with what you've always done. So if you always do what you've always done, you'll get the same result you've always got. It's when you start doing something different, stepping out of your comfort zone, setting your intentions, and we actually get something different than you've experienced. So thank you for listening. Comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Also, you can contact me. You can also find me at www.runbusinesscoaching.com. You book a consultation with me. Let's talk about conscious dating for yourself. You want a private call. But more importantly, we have a great virtual summit coming up. In the years approaching, from the 21st to the 23rd of this month, which is a few days, myself and my co-host, Gloria Niel, will be hosting a virtual summit, three-day event, which first day is going to be really stress and breath work because we're all going through a lot of stress. Second thing is going to be embracing new normal. And third thing is going to be how to create your vision of 2021. Remember, you have to create your vision, see what you want to see. Each day, each day would be a special guest, and each day you learn something more about yourself. And obviously, so you can be better, do better, feel better, set your intentions, and bring word and awareness to yourself. Thank you for listening. As I also have another live video coming up pretty soon called "A New Mind and a New Year." Thank you for listening.